it. So I was working on reviewing this right here. Let's get that shot in there. And it was not cheap either. I mean, 50 bucks. And I was I was fairly happy with it at first. Um, I used it in the bathroom, and it was running. All, it ran all night. I started like eight o'clock at night or nine o'clock at night, and come nine o'clock in the morning, twelve hours, it still had one little dot left, and two dots were used up. And I was like, okay, I'll just let it run till it's dead, and then I'll see how many hours it takes for this little solar panel to charge it back up. So I was doing that about two or three in the afternoon. It still wasn't dead. This one last dot was taking forever to drain down. So I got tired of it and just went and put it on on uh, the solar panel. Well, it didn't have enough hours left where it started getting dark and I was getting impatient. So I went to go in and just charge up the rest of the way because it was only back up to two dots after a few hours in the sun and the charging was very slow. So I brought it back in the house and um, was just gonna finish charging it off with the wall charger and then run some more tests on it. So it comes with these little lights, comes with this. Although, just as a side note, it probably could use some more, some updating on these plugs, not too many things. I still have something to use with this, so I'm okay with that. But some of these other plugs here just, um, just, you know, isn't very modern, you know, so. Anyways, so I was okay with it. It's like, well, you know, for like a secondary light in the bathroom or something like that, this thing worked great. Then when you get down, let's see if I can find the technical specs on here. More product details. Here we go. Here's the specs. All right. And when you look at this right here, it says it has a lithium battery. So I was expecting to get a good amount of cycle life out of it and be able to drain it down low without having to worry about it. Put it up. And, and you know, emergency light may not use it that often enough to charge it as much as you would something's lead acid. But then here's where the real disappointment comes in. I plugged it into the wrong plug because it's the same size power plug as that Go Power Plus I've been reviewing. And I don't really want to talk about that, but the plug was the same. So I grabbed it and I plugged it in the wrong one, and it says that it's got all kinds of protections on it. Uh, up here, I think it says it advertises that it's uh multi-protectional control overcharge yada 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 right there's no fusing in there so getting back down to these specs here this is this and then well, out of my frustration after i plugged in the wrong power cord it it popped on me and blew up figuratively speaking it stopped working I took it apart so I could check it out. And here's what I found. This is the inside. There's a little control board. It's not much to it. And it contains a lead acid battery. That's not what that says. Let's show the control board a little bit better. So all it is is this switch, this little control board. There's your input, your two lights, and your USB. Lead acid battery. Six volt, four and a half amp hour lead acid battery. So, as an emergency light, it was working. I was okay with using it in the bathroom, but as far as being a purchaser of this thing, and I left a review, and I uh, took a picture of the of the inside of this and left it on the review. I was not too happy with that. Um. So anyways, that is concludes my review of it. I was thinking about getting another one maybe, but I don't know that I want another one of these because I'm pretty ticked off about the false advertising. Um, if it were to say straight up, hey, this has got a lead acid battery in it, charge it, you know, make sure you charge it once every month or two, whatever, then I guess, but it seems kind of expensive for a little lead acid battery and a control board. But anyways, that is my review of this thing. If you're interested in it, it's on Amazon. Like I said, it worked, it worked fine um, otherwise. But the fact that it's got the lead acid was not what it was saying it had. And let me sure I get the name and stuff in there so you can see what it looks like. Um, let's see.
So I can't really in good conscience recommend that because they weren't honest up front in their uh, type specs. And they didn't talk about if it being a lead acid, uh, you know, you have to charge it more often than you would a lithium ion. It's pricey for a lead acid. And it, uh, I was paying, I thought I was paying a premium to have something that had thousands of charge cycles on it. I mean, I lived in hurricane country for a long time down in uh, Louisiana. And so something like this might have been much better than the Coleman Lantern stuff I was using. But the fact that it, it really kills me that it says lithium ion battery included and then I open it up and it's this. It also kills me it didn't have a fuse or any kind of over voltage protection because it's not a whole lot of volt difference between this and the other one. I mean, this has a six volt battery. That's why so it has like a you know, nine volt charging. The other ones has got 12 volt, you know, equivalent or whatever. 12, takes 15 volts to charge. So it didn't have any kind of fusing. It didn't have any kind of protection at all for over voltage. And it was a simple mistake. You know, anybody could have made, I made the mistake and it blew up 50 bucks in my face by uh, this thing burning out and now it's useless. I'm gonna harvest the battery out of it and I still have the lights. So there's that. Um, maybe I can find some use for that. But real disappointing. That's my review of this thing. I, I mean, it worked okay for emergency lighting. Um, like I said, if I was in a power outage, I'd be glad to have that as opposed to a flashlight. You know, a flashlight's obviously got its uses, but if you're trying to light up a room. But if I was going to pick something, I probably wouldn't pick this one at this price point. Um, it's half this price, then maybe. But anyways, it, that is what it is. Unfortunately, I was hoping to have a good review to come out and say, hey, this thing worked great. This thing was charged in a few hours. This thing lasted you know 17 hours of light or whatever but it um yeah it burned up by plugging in the wrong one no over voltage protection and then when i took it apart i found out a lead acid battery and not a lithium as advertised so anyways that's it if you are interested it's in amazon um it's about the cheapest one i found although i'm going to look around and see if i can find some other ones that would like to have a secondary lighting uh system for the bathroom in the event of a power outage i think it's a good idea to have some, to have that um, on a personal note, with all the issues we've seen with 2020, I've already been a big believer in having all kinds of stuff like that anyway. Like I said, living in Louisiana and having to deal with hurricanes, power outages, and things like that. I'm a big believer in having inverters and batteries and, you know, that kind of stuff for um, the times power go out, goes out. But I'm, I'm fairly, I, I, I guess in my mind, it, with all these hacking going on of infrastructure, it's only a matter of time for the power grids hit. Or, you know, so I think there's going to be more power outages this year. We've already seen an uptick in that with um, power problems in California and then power problems in Texas. And there's, you know, of course, and you have your usual storms that, that happen. And um, so I just, I just feel like I don't know. It's just it's just a feeling I have that this type of thing is, you know, is going to be ne beneficial to have. Um, not this particular brand, but something to give you some lighting is going to be beneficial to have um i just have a feeling that's going to be the case i don't really have any inside knowledge of it it's just my thoughts that circumstances you know would be behooving people to have something i mean generator a solar panel with a battery anything um, dollar tree lights i've got some of those laying around here but uh anyways that's it i don't want to ramble on too much there's my uh two cents on that Anyways, SHTF Garden, although this isn't about gardening, this is going to be a gadget video. I've got some gardening stuff I want to do. I want to plant the rice and all that stuff. But um, that'll be a separate video, obviously. SHTF Garden out. Like, share, subscribe. Get these videos out there. People are interested in these kind of things. If people like me feel like I do, that power outages are coming. The infrastructure is going to be hit, continue to be hit. And that... Um, we're gonna need power. And this was just bottom of the barrel. This is just an emergency light and a, and a USB to charge your cell phone. This wasn't getting into any of the big boy stuff of keeping your food refrigerator and all that stuff running. This is just some basic light. Starting with some of the cheaper basic stuff and review some of that and hopefully eventually work up to some bigger items. But, you know, I'm paying for this stuff. So I'm not gonna buy a thousand dollar 
station right now. Not at this point, anyways. Um, but anyways, SHTF Garden out. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and enjoy some videos. And if you like the gardening aspect of these, I have a bunch of those too, and probably be doing putting some more out as well. Um, hopefully today. All right, thanks. Have a good day.